my favorite movies from 2016 was La La Land. Starring in the lead roles was Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. This marks the third film together that they've done recently. So we have Crazy Stupid Love and Gangster Squad. Both films I absolutely loved, so I was really excited to see La La Land to see them together again. And they have such incredible chemistry. Yeah, again. I don't know two other performers that have such wonderful chemistry together. Not only do they complement one another, they help build each other's up. Build each scene up, build each character. They just have such a remarkable film together. La La Land was one of my favourite films of 2016 because it made me smile so much. I don't think I've ever been charmed by a movie, but this really did charm me. It had such a wonderful storyline that was told through four different th seasons. So they used the seasons to tell the story and they kind of used the characters to tell their own story and then tell it together. So it kind of comes together in such a remarkable way. The writing was well done, the directing was well done. And generally, I'm not a fan of musicals. Going into it, I didn't actually know if it was a decade film. And it turns out it's a modern musical, which is so unique, as there are not many modern musicals out, especially that surrounds getting into an acting career and finding the passion for jazz. So that was so unique. It's such a uniquely told story and it just made me fall in love. Made me fall in love with the film, made me fall in love with the characters, made me fall in love with jazz. I'm not usually a jazz fan, but this movie made me want to go to a jazz club and listen to jazz. So the passion the characters feel it resonates to the audience. It resonated with me. They're so passionate and it just comes to life. I fell in love with this film because of that passion. I fell in love with this film because it's relatable. Not only in that I can be passionate about movies or music, like I felt that passion that they were feeling and I want to be passionate about other things in that way. Another thing that made me feel in love, fall in love with it was the relationship of these two characters. How they start out, the middle, the end. While there is certain things that kind of didn't charm me as much, I don't want to like have any spoilers, I just love how relatable it comes across. And La La Land is just, I hope it gets nominated for an Oscar. I know it's nominated for other awards and I just... I feel like this film should be seen by way more people than it's going to be. I didn't actually know much about the film going into it, so I'm hoping other people have heard the buzz and want to go see it. Because at first I'm like, this film can't be as good as everyone's making out to be. And it's honestly better. I fell in love with the film. I'm hoping other people fall in love with the film. La La Land is one of those films that doesn't happen all that often, especially in the musical genre. I'm not a fan of musicals. There's a few that I like that came out way before I was born, so I kind of like grew up loving them. But if I had to watch them in this modern age, I don't think I'd enjoy them as much as I do. But this film kind of just persuaded me to really just open my opinion onto other genres of films and to give them a second chance because I gave La La Land a chance and I love it. So I probably said I loved it so many times but this is just a remarkable film that I really want other people to go see. Not only for the performances because they are amazing. If you love Ryan Gosling, if you love Emma Stone, you will love this film. But the storyline is what I'm going to take with me. And I actually plan on buying this on DVD because I just, I want to rewatch it. And I feel like every time I'm down and upset about life, this will make everything okay. So I highly recommend going to see La La Land. I actually give this film 10 out of 10. So definitely go see it. Thank you for watching. Bye.